started in 660, Li Zhi always felt dizzy. He chose Wu Zetian to help him govern the court, so Wu Zetian could appear in the court and build her own political team. In 674, Li Zhi and Wu Zetian were added the title Tian Huang and Tian Hou. Wu Zetian officially got the same power as Li Zhi. In 675. Li Zhi was seriously sick, and planned to pass the crown to Li Hong, but was rejected by Wu Zetian. In the same year, Li Hong passed away. After Li Hong passed away, Wu Zetian's second son Li Xian became the crown prince. Li Zhi let him join the daily management of the court, although Li Zhi liked his son. Wu Zetian didn't. In 680, Wu Zetian thought Li Xian killed Ming Chongyan, and exiled him from the royal family. Four years later, Li Xian suicide. In December 683, Tang Gaozhong Li Zhi passed away. In January 684. The third son of Li Zhi and Wu Zetian, Li Xian, became the emperor. He was the emperor for two months, and replaced by his little brother Li Dan. Wu Zetian di- didn't kill Li Xian, but exiled him to Fangzhou. Li Xian lost his freedom, and lived in a life-threatening situation. He didn't know. When his mother would send someone to kill him, when Li Dan became the emperor, Wu Zetian officially Lin Chao Cheng Zhi. This means Wu Zetian officially represented the emperor to govern the court. Li Dan totally became a puppet emperor. When Lin Chao Cheng Zhi. Wu Zetian also prepared to be the emperor. First, Wu Zetian promoted the family members from his side, so the Wu family got the power to fight with the royal family, Li family. Second, to eradicate the dissenters, Wu Zetian created a special whistle blowing system. In this system. Everyone could be the informer. If they provided the real information, they could be awarded. If not, no punishment. Third, Wu Zetian promoted many cold blood ministers called Ku Li. Those Ku Li helped Wu Zetian eradicate lots of the royal family members. Ministers who didn't stand on Wu Zetian's side. After the bloody purge, no one was brave enough to stand out and say no to Wu Zetian. Now Wu Zetian no is ready. In 690, Li Dan asked Wu Zetian change his family name from Li to Wu. And voluntarily passed the crown to Wu Zetian. Wu Zetian officially became the emperor, and changed the Tang to Zhou. Tang Dynasty was temporarily discontinued. As the female emperor, Wu Zetian was entangled with choosing the crown prince. If she chose her son. This means the crown was back to Li family, and her Wu Zhou dynasty would be over. If she chose her nephew, she could keep her Wu Zhou dynasty. But according to Chinese tradition, after she passed away, no one would worship her. After considering all aspects, in six ninety eight. Wu Zetian gave the crown 
Crown Prince title to his son Li Xian. In February 705, Wu Zetian was seriously sick. She was forced to abdicate by five ministers with five soldiers. Li Xian became the emperor again. In December 705, Wu Zetian passed away at 82 years old. In her will, she abandoned the emperor title and recovered the empress title. In May 706, Wu Zetian as the empress was buried in Qianling with Tang Gaozhong. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.